So, Chad, in the last stream, we were working uh, on trying to get a couple of things, right? One of the things that we were trying to get was the angel ring, and we kind of failed spectacularly at trying to get that angel ring. You may remember at the very start of the last stream, we set up uh, the little island over there by our mob slaughter factory. We, we actually have a chicken. Oh, no, I'm an idiot. This is not cheating, chat. Don't worry about it. We actually have a chicken. Oh, my goodness. I, I had a whole plan for today's stream for how to get a chicken like at the end of the last episode we set up a spawner to the lost city i actually did not plan that i did not think we had a chicken there oh my goodness so the plan you can't see it from here the plan was chat for today's stream or one of the plans was to use this setup here at the very end of the last stream somebody told me that if you put down two blocks of diamond and you put a bed on top of that block of diamond and then you surround that bed with six skulls you can actually sleep in this bed at night and it will teleport you to the lost city's dimension we didn't do it so i haven't actually been yet uh, but i did test it out in a single player world and it's essentially just a big old dimension uh in which mobs can spawn and including passive mobs and so the idea was that we were going to go to the lost city's dimension get a chicken come back make the angel ring now i think i will still go to this dimension today just to kind of show you guys what it's all about uh, but it looks like we might actually just have what it takes to make the angel ring right out of the gate here so there are a couple of things we still don't have for example a cursed lasso with a gas in it we do not yet have that uh, we also do not have the ring of the flying squid which does require us to catch a squid between streams i have gone ahead and set up a very temporary and also very horrible looking little box down here i'm a little concerned that no squids have fallen in here i'm fairly certain that squids should spawn in water that's below y level 46 and so i was really hoping but that by the time the stream started there would be a couple of squid in here though on and that does worry me a little bit but maybe we can use like some bait or something to pull those in let me check real quick bait we've got fruit bait grain bait veggie bait and fish trap bait i don't know i don't think fish trap bait works with um with squid i know in other mod packs if you have uh x compress them i believe it is that adds like bait that you can use to like specifically spawn in squid unfortunately i don't think this pack has it but my idea chat is that eventually hopefully at some point in today's stream a squid will spawn down in that little pond if it doesn't we could do some work to try and make that bigger try and increase the chances of a squid spawning uh, but before we jump into that before we start working on trying to get ourselves the angel ring uh, i have made a couple of changes to the base between episodes you may notice already that we have now got a much larger me controller than we had in the last episode before we just had the one and uh, now we've got a nice seven by seven square of me controller uh, one of the big reasons for that is that it allows us to use more channels obviously i don't think we need the this many controllers because i don't think we're going to need this many channels uh this gives us way too many channels right but um essentially i just want to make it easier for me to connect up these me drives uh, and also to move these molecular assemblers a little bit further out before they were kind of like here which was very very close it made the uh, the middle of the island here quite claustrophobic and so i've kind of moved those out i think they're now in a much nicer location and i've also you may notice moved temporarily the energy acceptor uh, up here and moved one of our solar panels down from the roof and we do have a little hole uh, in the roof there the reason for that is is that when I added in all of these extra ME controllers, the amount of redstone flux per tick that this machine uses, the, that the ME system uses, uh, went up drastically to the point where the 80 redstone flux per tick that was previously being delivered by the uh, wireless RF transmitter there was no longer enough. Like this energy cell ran out of battery real quick and the whole AE system just shut down. And so hopefully one of the things that we're going to work on in today's stream is getting some spectre coils to more efficiently transfer our power around the base in larger quantities, um, at which point we can go ahead and move this back down uh, to the lower floors but for the time being uh, i've put just a tier 4 solar panel directly on top of this energy acceptor and the tier 4 solar panels can hold 32 million redstone flux internally and so hopefully even when you know the sun goes down even when the night falls i'm hoping that this thing will be able to like keep up and keep our AE system going i hope we don't have to keep going to sleep just to keep our system online it looks like that should be the case like that number is going down pretty slowly all things considered um another thing that i've worked on is uh, down on the lower levels i've gone ahead and added in a another storage bus to the me system so now all of our obsidian is accessible from the ae system um, all i've done is i've already got a cable running down here because of course we've got a storage bus uh, right down at the bottom with our mob spawner and so there's just a cable running through the floor around and then up 
to here. And finally, I've added one more storage bus. Um, or actually, no, I have one more storage bus. I think in my system, did I make it? Let's have a look, storage bus. I did, I made one more just a few minutes ago and I wanna put that one right about there. So we can access all of our cobblestone from within the system as well, because um, I went to go see how many solar panels we could craft. And I kid you not, when I went to go and craft more tier six solar panels, the only thing that we didn't have in the system was 128 cobblestone. And so now that all those are hooked up, we should, I think, be able to pretty much automatically make everything it takes in the tier five solar panel. I think all of this stuff our system knows how to make or has been made automatically either through sifting uh, or through some of the means like the obsidian generator that we have downstairs. And so I think Chad, that we can probably make quite a few of these uh, tier six solar panels if we wanted to. I'm not quite sure how many. Um, I have a feeling that we're gonna run into an issue with the number of bytes that we have available. Uh, right now, crafting one tier six solar panel, which is actually crafting two, uh, takes 7,000 bytes. And so I'm fairly certain if I were to type in two, it'd be the same number because you have to make them in sets of two anyway. It is. Uh, but that does mean that I don't think we can make more than four solar panels at a time right now, simply due to the fact that our crafting CPU is nowhere near big enough to hold this. Like you'll see right now, it says no crafting CPUs are available. If we bring that number down to four, we can do it. So... If we want to craft more than four at a time, we would have to either make another 16K crafting core processing unit and stick it down on with this one, or we could upgrade to a 64K uh, crafting core processing unit, or we could just add a 64K crafting co processing unit to this one here. Um, any of those situations would work. For now, I don't think we really need to be crafting more than four at a time. I think four at a time is fine. And honestly, at this point in time, chat, we don't really need more solar panels. Like the two that we have right now producing uh, just over 4,000, close to 4,500 uh, redstone flux per tick, I think are more than enough um, for what we've got like in the base at the minute. So I don't think we really need to worry about it too much just yet. Anyway, what I want to work on in today's stream, of course, I've got a few things I want to work on. I want to work on getting the spectacles up and running. I think that is probably what we're going to want to start with because uh, in order to get any of the spectre coils we do need to get the spectre ingots to get the spectre ingots we need ectoplasm and i think the best way for us going forward to get ectoplasm is of course going to be with the spectre sampling which you can get by sifting tainted soil it's only a one percent drop chance not particularly high but it would be very nice if we could get this um, and then just be able to make these spectre coils fairly easily you can see we can transfer 1000 4000 uh, or 20,000 redstone flux per tick uh, so is there a way for us to get tainted soil there is we can use witch water and coarse dirt or on regular dirt uh, and the easiest way i believe for us to get witch water is using ancient spores which i'm hoping we have excuse me um ancient spores have we not got any of these oh you get them from sifting dirt ah okay in that case then chat um we do have 32 dirt i did save one extra diamond stiffened mesh with sieving efficiency and fortune Three in here, we've got that. That's like the fully upgraded uh, sieve that we're using downstairs. I am very quickly here gonna sieve a little bit of dirt to see if we can't get some ancient spores. Those ancient spores will allow us to make mycelium. And of course that mycelium, you have to, oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> every time you have to sieve dirt with a standard mesh. I don't think you can use anything above uh, a, a, a string mesh. You can't use like a flint stiffened mesh or anything like that. That is super annoying. I guess we could enchant the string mesh. What are the odds on this? It was what, 5%? That's not particularly high, chat. It is like one in 20 though. And so ideally, if we sieve, actually, if we're gonna use string meshes, we might as well just go ahead and quickly throw down a, a couple more sieves here. Like we've got 48 in the system. So if I just throw down a few more, we can sieve multiple at once here. Beautiful. All right, we've got two ancient spores. Fantastic. So if we go ahead and grab ourselves a standard ex nihilo barrel, as well as a bucket to grab some water. And I don't think I have a nearby sink. I think my nearest sink right now is all the way down at, uh, I moved the one that was over here. I kind of cleaned up a bit between streams. I think the nearest thing we have is like right there. Another thing that I do want to work on in today's stream is getting travel anchors down around the base. I think that's gonna make transport uh, just all over the place so much easier. And uh, now that I think about it, actually, do I have a sink back here? No, I've got a barrel back there, but I don't have a sink. Okay, that's fine. I know that we need more than one bucket of water anyway. So all we're gonna do, chat, we're gonna throw down, I don't wanna do this actually. I kind of think I might do this over on this other island over here, just to keep our mycelium kind of separate. So if we throw down some dirt, we get rid of this, throw down some dirt. That was, oh, it's the imaginary time block, of course. Uh, in that case then, 
It's so fast. In that case, <laughs> I'm going to head back to the main island. I'm going to get rid of these sieves. We don't need these now. Can stick those back in the system, like so. Let's just throw down a couple of pieces of dirt. Uh, infect them with our ancient spores, like so. We've got a backup ancient spore if we need to move the setup in the future, which is nice. Throw down our wooden barrel temporarily, and then just go ahead and do something like this. That will hopefully spread the mycelium. Uh, we don't necessarily need more than one piece of mycelium, but the more mycelium you have, uh, the faster, I believe, the water turns into witch water. And so the idea here is essentially, bucket of water in the barrel, and you'll see at the top there in Whaler transforming is now 1%. Eventually, it'll turn to 2%. There we go. And then it should continue on from there. I don't know if the imaginary time block would make that any faster or not. I assume probably not, but it's possible, I guess. And so whilst we wait for that to finish doing its thing, um, it is. I should probably go get this thing, actually, because it is fairly possible that uh, we need to do multiple buckets worth. Because if we are wanting to get some of the the ectoplasm, if you want to get the ectoplasm sampling, um, the drop chance is only 5%, and this one does require a flint stiffen mesh. Oh man, I was really hoping I could use a diamond stiffen mesh here, because we've got a fully like enchanted diamond stiffen mesh that would have increased our odds greatly. Unfortunately, we don't. So we're going to have to use a flint stiffen mesh, and so we're probably going to need at least 20, maybe more tainted soil, and so uh, that might take a while, actually. So I'm thinking, chat, what I might do in that case is try and automate this a little bit, so we can kind of just set it up have a system that's automatically going to produce... Oh, that's some mob spot I can hear, of course. Uh, set up a system that can automatically uh, produce the tainted soil for us, and then later on in the stream, we can come back and, uh, and try sieving some of that tainted soil to see if we can't get the specter coils. I think that's going to be the best way for us to go. Otherwise, we're going to spend just way, way too much time trying to make way too many pieces of, uh, of tainted soil. So I'm going to break this one. I'm also going to put down more dirt, because again, I think the more mycelium that you have around the faster it will go i'm gonna build it this way like so i'd also like to put that torch back down if possible so we don't get any mob spawning beautiful so how do i want to do this i want to have dirt automatically being fed into the barrel and then i want the dirt being pulled out of the barrel and into a chest of some description so oak chest can go right about there and then all we're gonna do i think do we have any translocators lying around we have one item translocator how in the world did we end up with a singular item translocator? Like, where in the world did our other item translocator go to leave us with just one? And nevertheless, if we just take one of these, we'll do something like this. We'll do something like this and like that. And so ideally, chat, I believe that if I do this, that will pull out the tainted soil once it's done. All we need to do then is actually pump water directly into the barrel there so a standard fluiduct will do with any kind of server we've got a reinforced server so we'll use that boom boom and ignore it's some signal then it's going to pump this full of water and i think that's not transforming does it need to be lower down does it need to be like right next to the uh the mycelium here looks like it okay that's fine that is fine chat that is fine just means we've got to move the chest which again is not a problem actually Oh, that's an elevator. Oh, I can't. Oh, I have to drop down. I can't get out of that hole without jumping, and I can't jump because the actually, I guess, do you if you shift jump, does that? No, nope, that does not work. Okay, never mind. Nope. Chat. That's fine. <laughs> that, that's fine. We'll do this. We'll do this. We will extract out of here and into the barrel. That should start turning to witch water. It is fantastic. And then we'll just do something like this and like that. Nice. Okay, that should, I believe, work. And then we'll just do something like a hopper directly on top of the barrel and i believe the hopper won't be able to put any of the dirt into the uh, the witch water there until it's fully transformed and so i'm fairly certain chat that this system here will get us you know two and a half stacks of tainted soil if we leave it long enough uh, i am going to pull out my watering can and i am going to uh attempt to spread this mycelium a little bit here just to try and increase the speed at, the, the, at which the water transforms but I think this is fine. I hope that elevator isn't useful. You will be happy to find out this elevator is not useful. This elevator here and this elevator over here, they both go uh, to the same places. So for now, we do not need this elevator at all, which is great. Beautiful. All right, is that done? That's done. Perfect. All right. Uh, the next thing I would like to work on, as I mentioned a second ago, is the travel anchors. Because the travel anchors are actually uh, not that difficult for us to make. We actually don't have any really any applied uh, really any ender io machines at all yet but uh, thankfully i don't think we need them to get the travel anchor we do need uh, four iron ingots we need four conduit binder and we do need a pulsating iron ingot um but thankfully or a pulsating iron crystal sorry 
no, we need a pulsating crystal, which is made with pulsating iron ingots. Uh, but the, pulsa the pulsating iron ingots can be made in the induction smelter. So, iron ingots. I think we've got like 4,000 ender pearls. We do. Fantastic. So we can just throw both of these in here. I would also actually like to upgrade these machines. Nice. Make that a little quicker. And then all we really need to do, chat, is just craft that into nuggets. And then back over in the crafting terminal, if we type in uh, travel anchor again, we should have, I think, pretty much everything it takes here uh, to make at least one, preferably more, of these pulsating crystals. And then from there, I don't know if we have any conduit binder. Oh, we do nice. I guess we had some leftover from when we were making item conduits. And so now, for those who do not know how these works, uh, how these work, all we need to do is essentially replace our elevators with them. Because I believe, if I'm not mistaken, they do at a base level work uh, in the exact same way as elevators. So if you put them down like this, you can jump and press shift to go up and down much like you would with an elevator but the added benefit is that for example right now we have to use this elevator over here to get down to this level uh, what we can do now is we can get rid of this elevator put this one down if i can get it lined up correctly like that and then if for example we go in here and we name this one uh, storage which is the floor that we're on now if we're ever stood on oh no i didn't put down oh no i did nice if we're ever stood on one of these travel anchors, we can just look down, see storage, and then just press shift to teleport directly to it, which is going to make our lives a whole heck of a lot easier because now if we want to get from the main floor directly down to storage, we don't have to press like shift eight times, you know, going down all of the elevators like this. We can just press it once and jump directly down to the designated floor, which is super nice. For example, boom, we could type in mob with a capital O, mob spawner. And then on here, we can just... Boop. Boop. We'd have to take two uh, two travel anchors there. We could have done that in one, uh, but this one is currently not named. I'm going to call this one Hope or Home. I'll call this one Home, like that. So Home, Storage, Mob Spawner. And we can go between any of them just instantaneously. That's going to make getting to our Mob Spawner to check on our squid significantly easier. I love it. All right. So that was pretty easy for us to do. Um, I think I will go ahead and put down one more of these... I could do with putting one up there, actually. Just so that we can jump and use them like elevators. And then I think I will also make one more and put that down on the final level. Right? We've got one more level that's currently not being used. And so let's just get rid of you. Get ourselves some more pulsating iron ingots. Doesn't matter if we make too many. We can always use the excess for making more item conduits in the future. And I'm almost certain we're going to need more of those going forward. So a travel anchor. And then we'll go down. And I have to jump here because there's no elevators now but if we get down to here without taking too much damage we should now be able to get rid of this replace it with a travel anchor i'll call this one what's this called this is the empowerer empowerer there we go beautiful and then we can if we want just use it like a uh, like a, a standard elevator and get back to the top nice okay how is our Set up over here doing. We've got five tainted soil. This really is gonna take a while, eh? I don't I'm gonna try something, chat. I don't think. Slash home two. I can also actually, real quick, before I uh, teleport away again, I could, if we make some more conduit binder, put a travel anchor over on our little island as well. So I don't have to type in slash home two every time that I want to get over to um over to our other island. And I am gonna do that because that's gonna make my life easier as well. So We'll teleport to home too. I'm then gonna I'm gonna get rid of this RF transmitter because that's just a death trap. I'm gonna fall through that hole at some point, and I'll just call this home too. There we go. Uh, so what do I want to come over here for, chat? I want to come over here. I wanted to test if our imaginary time block works on the mycelium in any way. Works on making this faster. I don't think it's going to, but I I, I need to try. So if I throw this down, really just anywhere, like if I put it down like here and give it some power, which it's not going to get because there's no sun there, but if I oh gosh, there's three blocks. If I did that no, that is not any faster. I didn't really think that would work. The imaginary time block only really works on uh, on crops, I believe, so wasn't likely to work, but you know, worth a, worth a shot maybe. <laughs> anyway, we get rid of this there we go. So this is going to take a while. It is quite possible, although extremely unlikely, that we get what we're after within the first few sieves. 
We actually don't have any flint stiffened meshes. I feel like we kind of jumped straight in at the iron level after the uh, the string level here, but I'll make one and we'll see about sifting it. We are slowly getting a bit of a mushroom infestation here as well, which is not, not particularly ideal. Okay. We did not get the sapling we're after. We got a dark oak, a dark lens oak sapling, a bloodwood sapling, which I believe you have to put in the nether, birch seeds, some other seeds. Ah, no, not the sapling we're after though. Not the sapling we're after. Okay. So whilst we wait again for this to, to, pr to produce more of that dirt for us, let's go down to our squid section. Chat. Is there any way? That's not what I want to be. I want to be down there. We can also look at making the staff of traveling. I don't know how expensive this guy is. It's two infinity rods, which are made from dark steel nuggets and grains of infinity. This is one thing I want to ask chat, actually. Um, I don't think we're going to make this because the ender crystal is a bit expensive. It requires a soul binder, but... The grains of infinity in this game. What is that? What? I don't know why we're hearing thunder sounds. It looks like it's clear sky. But the grains of infinity are usually acquired by lighting fire to bedrock in the overworld. My question, chat, is can you use this piece of bedrock that you start with to get grains of infinity? Like if I light a fire on this piece of bedrock here, will that give me grains of infinity? Yes, you can. That is fantastic. I don't, I feel like we're a bit of an impasse here, chat, because I can't make the angel ring until we get a squid right we, we were kind of hamstrung right now by the fact that we don't have any squid whatsoever in here i'm kind of tempted to just put a bucket of water down really high up on the base oh this was a mistake i've kind of fudged my elevator system now i have to use a travel anchor that's fine though but like right up here i'm kind of tempted to put down just a bucket of water that just flows off the edge and see if we get squid spawning in there. Like if I just throw this down like here, that's going to obviously flow right down to, uh, to to Y level zero. Maybe that will spawn a squid in it and maybe we can just kind of float down and try and grab a squid at some point. I'll make it a few blocks wide as well just to kind of increase our water area to maybe uh, encourage the squid to spawn. Look at that right away. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe that. Like, is there a lower limit to where squids can spawn? Like, that box downstairs, like, showed no intention of spawning a squid at all. Like, what the heck? What, what was that? Oh my goodness. All right, here we go. Golden lasso. The, the real task is getting them before they die, right? Like, trying to grab a hold of that golden lasso before it, uh, of the squid even, before it... Look at that. It's gone. <sighs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. This is fine, Chad. This is fine. This is fine. We just got to keep an eye out, you know? A squid did spawn instantly, and then as soon as I came back to grab him, he was gone. So the hard part is going to be getting a squid before they jump down into the void. And I have a feeling now that I'm watching them, they're just not going to spawn at all. Make that water fall into your pool. <sighs> That's a good idea. But no! No! No, you... Oh, gosh dang it. Did he just despawn as well? Like, they didn't even make it down to the... Okay. Okay, okay, okay. This is a good idea, though. That's a good idea. Making them fall into the uh, the body of water over there is a good idea. I will... I will try this. He's done it. They're in. They're in, chat. They're in. We have the squid. There's no way these guys get away from us. We should go down to the mob spawner level, though. Here we go. The bat did come in useful. Get in here. Did that work? No, that guy died. That's fine. Could I? Boom. All right, chat. This is perfect. We've now got, again, I love how as soon as you put a waterfall down, like 18 squid spawn at once. Like, oh my goodness. Could I? I need to go high enough so I can get onto this cobblestone level. Perfect. All right. I'm going to get rid of this between episodes. Jeez, like these weather sounds. What the? Get out of here. There's, there's no lightning at all. It makes no sense. But I'll get rid of that between episodes because we don't need it now. And so now, if we just head on back up to the top floor, we are very close, I think, to being able to get the angel ring. I think we've got everything it takes to make the chicken wing ring. This guy right here. We just need our uh, golden lasso with chicken in it. Like so. That gets us the chicken wing ring. Uh, for those who don't know, the chicken wing ring lets you do some hot... Just lets you float, I guess. I don't... Like, you can, you can jump and then fall like a chicken. Like this. It's not great. You can't, like, fly very well. But you can fall 
slowly like that, which is quite nice, I guess. And then we can upgrade that to the squid ring, the ring of the flying squid, which is a little bit better um, and also a little bit more expensive. And this one's a little bit better in that it lets you kind of fly, kind of? Like, I think I can get onto this roof here, maybe? Oh, not quite. I can... You can press spacebar a bit to get a bit of height. Oh, no, I can float up. I just hold it. If you just hold it, you can kind of float upwards like a squid would if it was moving up a waterfall, maybe. So that's not bad, but you'll see there is a bar there at the bottom just above my experience bar, and so you can't float upwards forever. There is a time limit on it. And so ideally, chat, we will be able to upgrade this to the final tier, of course, the Angel Ring. For that, we need a bet in a Golden Lasso. We need a Cursed Lasso with a Ghast in it. And we need, of course, a Squid Ring, four gold, and two glass. So the only things we're missing, of course, are the Golden Lassos. Um, we might be able to spawn a Ghast. Potentially? Or maybe not. What mod is it, chat, that lets you put... A gas into unless you spawn a gas from a squid. Is that X compress them as well? Witch water. Oh, you just put a squid in witch water and it becomes Oh, chat, you geniuses. You geniuses. Okay, get rid of that. The witch water's halfway done. We've got six tainted soil. Let us, in that case, do a few things. First things first. Let's see about making these lassos, all right? The golden lasso is pretty easy to make, and then the cursed lasso shouldn't be too difficult because of the fact uh, that we do have the, uh, like, quite a lot of drops of evil already. So, do we get the lassos back? Oh, we do. Nice. Beautiful. So, we got the cursed lasso. We can grab the ghast. Uh, let's quickly grab our spawn bats out of here. We've got two of them. We do have to be quick on catching this guy. Nice. And then, I think, chat, all we need to do now is just grab yet another lasso. Go grab another squid and then just put him down in some witch water. And I think we'd be good to go, chat. I think we actually have... Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Look at this. There was, like, zero squid in here two minutes ago. And now there's nothing but squid. It's like 100% squid in there. Oh, my goodness. They're everywhere. They're falling down all the waterfalls. It makes no sense. Oh, my goodness. But anyway, if we grab our bucket and if we grab a bucket full of witch water and we put this right about here, let's be ready with the golden la the, the cursed lasso. So the squid, just going to go in, and if you would, oh, we need to hit him, we need to reduce his health, okay, 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 okay. that's fine, actually, that's fine, let me grab my, my squid ring, I could have played this bad chat, uh, that's, that's for sure, um, the good news is that because we have, because we've claimed our base with FTP utilities, the uh, the guest cannot actually hit us. Um, I will make a bow and arrow here real quick, just to shoot this guy with. I beg your pardon, good sir. I would like you to be lowered to uh, a, a smaller amount of HP, and then I would like you to allow me to capture you inside of a cursed lasso. No! <laughs> I didn't mean to do that, chat. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. We'll have another bucket of witch water. And, oh, no, we don't need another bucket of witch water. We just need another squid. This is fine. This is fine. We can kill these squids. And given that we've got looting on our sword, we should get quite a lot of ink sacks, despite the fact that we don't really need them. And then this water will disappear any second now. And then we'll close the roof in. We'll throw down a ghast. And we should be good to go. Our sword is nowhere near as good as I thought it was <laughs> as well. Like, this sword could definitely do with some uh, some damage upgrades to make it a little bit stronger. Uh, whilst we wait for that to finish, actually, it's almost done. But uh, I am going to go grab some cobblestone real quick, just so we've got something to fill in the roof so the gas can't fly away. Uh, I guess the good news about our uh, cobblestone, about our sword, sorry, being not very good is that uh, it does mean that it should be fairly easy to, uh, to get this gas down to uh, a low amount of HP. Let's get rid of... I don't think we need the mushrooms. We've got quite a few mushrooms spawning downstairs already. All right. So, I'm going to fill the roof in. I've got my wand. We might take some damage from the gas, but I think our saturation and our armor level should keep us going. Um, we do also need to be careful with the... I, I, he might just clip through the building here. I'll just like... 
Yeah, he might just die from like clip damage. We'll see. So I'm gonna put this in here. We've got a, a we've got a squid. I was a little worried there that we didn't have a squid, but we got a squid. So he's gonna spawn him in. And then we're gonna hit him. He's very close. And then just grab him. Perfect. Chat. Textbook. That <laughs> textbook guest capturing right there. Oh my goodness. All right. So finally, we've got the guest. We've got the bat. We've made the chicken wing ring. We've made the squid ring. I think after all this time, we finally have what it takes to put all that together to make ourselves boom, boom, the freaking angel ring. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Finally, creative mode flight. We don't have to worry about saving up 687 R RAK. We don't have to worry about that at all. All we got to do now, just fly around. All we got to do is just make sure that we always have uh, 32 grid power ready to spare, right? I think that's fine. I think we got quite a bit of headroom as well. Yeah, we've got 64 grid power available to us. Uh, I believe we use 32 hour flying. So we've got leeway of about 14 grid power. And as of right now, I don't think we have that many things using grid power that we have to worry about. And of course, as soon as we get rid of all of the wireless RF transmitters and replace those with the Spectre coils from, I think it's random things. At that point, we're gonna be using even less grid power. And so the odds of us falling to our death through lack of grid power, I think are, uh, are not particularly high. <laughs>